phi. So this is the RPD element which is inside this thermoval. This thermoval is made of stainless steel. RTD element is PT100. You will find that this is a three wire RTD. So the connection all the way through comes out to be a three wire RTD. And here one of the wires is red, the other two are white color. So if you think of it as a resistance, then we can measure the resistance of the RTD between the red and the white windings. Multimeter, we go to resistance, 200 ohm range. This is the 200 ohm setting for the multimeter. We connect red to red and black to any of these whites. So at present you find that the currently given this room temperature value the resistance comes out to be around 112, 112 ohms okay and and just to show that these two white windings these are nearly shorted we are shorting out we are trying to find out the resistance of these two white windings and you will find that this is very very close to zero so essentially these two are short circuit and you find the resistance between the red and the white and this forms the resistance of the RTD. Right, so here is the, you can think of this as a tank containing of a liquid and we are dipping the RTD in here and our objective is to find out that if the temperature of, of this particular material which is water in this case increases then the resistance of the RTD will also increase. So we switch on the heater and connect once again with the ohm meter connected to 200 ohms. Reason is that the resistance of this RTD is roughly around 100 or somewhere around 110 or 20 ohms because this is PT100. So at 0 degree centigrade you would get only 100 ohms and it doesn't jump too much. So we are not going for higher settings but we have restricted it only to 200 ohms. So red to red and black to white. So it's around 116.2 what you should observe is that this resistance will keep on increasing because we are heating this process fluid and RTD being a positive temperature coefficient resistance material, its resistance will increase as temperature increases. And one more thing to observe is that this increase is pretty slow given the fact that the alpha for RTD is a small value. So this is a linear sensor with not as much sensitivity as that of a thermistor. So you won't find too much jump in temperature value, in resistance value. Okay, another point is if you think if you have gone through your control theory course you will find that the input that we are providing to this system is a ramp input we are increasing the temperature of the process fluid at a particular constant rate Okay, so I hope you get the picture that from 116.7 the resistance has increased to 117 point currently it's 118 so this demonstrates that as the temperature of the particular process increases the resistance of the RTD will also increase Hi. so 
So previously we found that we had dipped the RTD in the process fluid and measured the resistance of the RTD. Now generally what you want is to know the value of the unknown temperature. So for that we have this particular measurement kit. This is the display where we can the electronics will allow us to obtain the value of the unknown temperature. So the conversion from resistance into temperature will be done by the electronics portion of this particular kit which is present inside this board. So for that purpose we are going to raise the temperature of this process fluid and then set the span adjustment in the board and then we can start taking our readings. So the initial part is to do the span adjustment for that with this process fluid we will dip a clinical thermometer you can think of is think of this as a primary standard and we will also dip the RTD and we will raise the temperature of this particular process fluid up to let us say a high value of 60 degree or 70 degree or you can even go up to 300 degree or 400 degree as per your requirement. So in the lab we will possibly go to around 60 degree centigrade and then do the calibration in the kit. So currently all I am doing is dipping the clinical thermometer and the RTD and turning on the heater. Hi. So the objective of this part of the experiment is to do the resistance to temperature conversion for which the electronics module of this kit will play the role. So what we do is we have so far allowed the temperature of this process fluid to raise up to 60 degree centigrade. So right about here is the mercury position. It might be difficult to visualize but trust us this is where it is. The RTD is also present here, so it is also sensing this temperature. Now we go over to this particular kit and do the span adjustment. So we turn on the kit. This is the span adjustment port. So for span adjustment with this particular setting of 60 degrees centigrade, we will adjust this port so that the indicator will display 60 degree currently. Continuing further, we have cut off the supply to this heater, but you would remember from your thermodynamics course that even if we cut off the power supply due to thermal time constant, this process fluid will still heat a bit further. So the temperature will slightly increase a bit more than 60. So it's going up to around 62 degree centigrade. We have done the calibration with 60 degree in mind and you can find that corresponding to the 63 degree centigrade right now, this is also showing 63 degree centigrade. So the conversion from resistance that you found which we measured using the ohm meter is done by all this electronics stuff. Okay, so continuing further, our initial calibration has been done. So this fan adjustment setting has been done. Now we can take out this particular sensor because this is a local sensor. So we don't want this visualization anymore. We only want the value of the, the temperature to be displayed right over here in the kit. And this transmission is wired over here, but in industry you might find wireless transmission. So with this experiment, what we will do is, we have cut off the supply to the heater. With time, this temperature will drop and then we will measure or record the particular value of temperature for some specific points because it will lead to a lot of length of video. So we will show you some specific values of temperature in this particular kit and the corresponding value of resistance. By the way, 
you find that this is at 66 degree centigrade or it is reflecting around 66 degree centigrade for the process fluid we can also obtain the corresponding value of resistance of the RTD by flipping this particular switch so right now this is showing 121 ohms okay so enough time has elapsed and we have allowed the process to cool down and so if you come back to this particular kit right now it has dropped from around 65 or 66 it had shot up to 65 or 66 degree centigrade and then fallen down to 56 degree centigrade and once I flip the switch the corresponding resistance is 100 and flips between 117 and 18 this is due to the precision of this dpm meter normally you would want a decimal point after this to have more precise reading. 